bookkeeping has become popular in the past and continues to be among the most trending agribusinesses as it has become more profitable. While honey is the obvious source of income for beekeepers, there could be other things connected to beekeeping from which you can earn some good money as a farmer. Honey production in Uganda is largely organic and still very low compared to the domestic demand with more consumers substituting sugar for honey in their diets due to perceived medicinal values. As a result, supply response in Uganda is not meeting the rapidly expanding domestic and regional demand. Honey is largely traded informally across the borders in East Africa. The market for the bee products are still underdeveloped and this provides potential for expanding end markets for the honey subsector. This week on the NBS Agribusiness Show, we visit Vincent Kabito, a resident in Nigeria, a Kampala suburb, who has greatly contributed towards the honey value chain in the production of these low-cost hives, as well as producing of good quality honey. <music> My name is Vincent Fred Cavito. I work with Bee House Products. Bee House Products started in 2012 and we do a full honey value chain. With that, I mean we process honey. Like in the honey, we have honey as itself, we have pollen, we have bee wax, and we have now bee venom which we extract from the bees. We also import and export equipment which help us in, which will help people and also us in good processing of honey. Vincent took us through the differences between the three hives here at his workshop with the top bar hive that he prefers calling the Keti bee hive because of its Kenyan origin. A bee farmer will harvest only twice a year compared to the Langstroth hive that goes up to four times of the harvests in a single year. Top bar hives are boxes with the series of bars arranged side by side along the top. Equipment we have, we start from because honey and bees are extracted from a farm called Anapiale. And Anapiale, we have a house. And the house, which we call the hive, is the house of the bees. So we have two types of hives. We have what we call the Toba hive. Most special is called Kenya Toba hives. It was originated from Kenya. And also have the Langstroth hives which is called also the frame hives. And locally have what you call the logo hives, usually made from what Tugu trees. Those are the hives we have. The, the difference is one, top bar hives, is, this is the top bar, whereby the bees come and, const, and construct a comb. And the other hives, meaning that when you're going to extract honey, you just take away the comb and put it in the, and you cut it off, then you remove the honey. The difference is here, it will give you a yield of two times a year. For the other, like the frame hive, it will give you three to four times a year because for the other one, you don't destruct the comb. Now we have another type of hive called the Langstroth hive or the frame hive. It's a frame because it has these frames, these types of frames. This is the frame, whereby there are wires which help the bees to build a comb from here. Yeah. On this hive, the difference between this one and this one and the, the Langstroth and KTB or Kenya Toba hive is that here you don't destroy the hive during harvesting. And in that, the bees use less labor or energy to habitate and fix and fix in the 
the honey again. So another difference is that here you can harvest three to four times a year compared to this one, or the KTB hive. The differ another difference is this is a brooder. So Langstroth has two segments. It has a brooder and has what we call a super. In a super, that's where this honey, honey is stored. And in this brooder, you see even the size of the frame is bigger. This is where the queen is and it has the same process. So during, when you put it in the farm, you have to first put in the brooder until it is full, full with bees. Then you come and check and then put on the super. There's a slightly a big difference because here at our case is 150 minimum for Langstroth hive and 100 for Kenya Toba hive. Also the cost of making this is a bit higher and also has two chambers. It has two chambers. This is what we call the super which I was talking about. This is where the honey is stored. It has this segment called the queen excluder. The queen cannot pass through these, these holes to come and lay eggs in the upper section. So these work bees will come with the pollen because this segment will be full. Then they are looking for somewhere else to store its food. So they stop storing the honey in this. So during harvesting, you just remove this segment and take it to the processing loom and cover this with this iron sheet or the cover again. So after removing the honey, you bring back this segment and refix it on top of this. So the bees will start storing honey again. Among other beekeeping equipment that Vicen manufactures are these low-cost smokers that are greatly needed while harvesting honey. We also make smokers. This also helps in, during harvesting honey because the bees are so volatile when it comes to its honey because it is food. So when you come to harvest, they are so wild. So you have to put a, use this smoker, put some cow dung or anything which can produce smoke and charcoal. So you start smoking where the bees, you have an entry here. So this is where you start to smoke from. This smoke helps the bees to become dizzy and less aggressive. Initially, they used to use this they used to put these funnels and they, those smoke used to contaminate honey. But now this is a modern way. You also regulate. It has a, you regulate as you are processing the honey. 